Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations. Uh, I'm Lisa Taylor. I graduated from Whitman in 2008 and I graduated without a plan. I was a piano performance major and an econ minor and I knew I didn't want to continue with music after college, but beyond that, I had no idea what I wanted to do and I'd never had an internship. Um, I'd never really had a job before um, just because I had played a lot of music and had other interests um, throughout my schooling. And so it was really scary. Uh, the fall of 2008 happened. I had moved in with some other friends from Whitman into a house in Seattle and I was just looking for jobs. And it ended up working out really well for me. I found a startup where I was the first marketing hire and I am still there today, 11 years later, and I'm the VP of marketing. So I just wanna talk about a little bit about three things that I've learned um, about graduating from college in a tough time, um, but being able to persevere through it. So number one, Take initiative, especially in your first job. Um, you know, I submitted my job application to a marketing analyst role that I found on Craigslist and I had no job. So why would any recruiter even look at my resume? Um, and I never heard back, but the job continued to be posted. And so I basically decided I was going to learn as much as I could about this company. And so I read the whole entire website, the CEO's blog, and just ended up sending him an email. And I spent hours writing it. It was only a paragraph long, but I really wanted to show that I had done some research and that I had something to offer. And it worked. He responded within 40 minutes. Somehow he still pointed out a typo, uh, which was embarrassing, but in the end it worked out. And that's how I got my foot in the door. And that's honestly how I initially got the job. And so I think that's my first piece of advice is just don't just assume that there's one way to get a job by applying online, use your network. Um, but I would also just say, if you're really excited about a company, do your homework. And even if you don't email the CEO of the company, email the recruiter and send them something that you did that you think could help the company, whether it's analyzing a page on their website and making suggestions about how it could be better, whether it's looking at their marketing, uh, and figuring out what you think could be improved. Do your homework and it shows that you're taking initiative. I think the second piece of advice is just really trusting in your education. It took me a long time to figure out what it really meant to be a liberal arts major and be able to think critically and communicate well. Um, and I think what I've learned is that liberal arts majors have to really think and deal with a lot of ambiguity and dealing with ambiguity is one of the most important skills that you can learn um and just because there's never perfect information in um anything that you're doing and you always have to be comfortable with some amount of that and i think the more that you can create structure and make sense of ambiguity the more successful you'll be um, because there's never a perfect process, um, especially in a startup. So I think talking about times when you, you know, were able to make sense of a problem and solve it when, you know, the path to solving it was not clear, um, that's really valuable. And I think the last piece of advice is just around really making sure that you were using the skills that you learned around writing and communicating um, at Whitman, but also knowing that business writing is different than college writing. Um, I had amazing writing teachers at Whitman, um, but I did have to relearn how to write when I got into a business environment. And I think making sure that you're really crisp and use the fewest words possible to make your point, um, do that on your resume, do that on a cover letter, really think through how you'll answer kind of, you know, the, the standard interview questions, just making sure that you're a really crisp, succinct communicator that's highly valued. Um, and I think that's it. I just wanted to say I'm rooting for you and good luck.